So in this video, we're going to be um, generating the title for our links. So let's get started. So you'll see if we come back to our code here, the first thing we want to do before we actually insert a link into the database is we want, we want to uh, generate the random string that is going to be the link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in this function I found in Stack Overflow. It's a function that generates a random string. Um, uh, we don't want any numbers in our string, so we're just going to delete the numbers at the beginning of it. So we want an alphabetical string to be generated. Uh, the length by default is 10, so uh, we can live with that. So we're just going to use the generate random string function to generate our title. So the way we do that is we just come up here and say generate title, just um, to create a comment so we know what's going on. Then we're going to say title equals generate random string. And that's all we have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo title. And I'm going to comment this out just temporarily so that we can see it in action. So let's click yes to upload the file. Uh, let's uh, just click shorten link. And you can see it generated a random string of uh, alphabetical characters. If I click it again, you'll see we'll get a different string. So we're going to use these for our links. So now that we have our title generated, we can uncomment this code and we can just change this to, um, we can actually just put title straight in here because we're not actually taking the title from the user, so no user input is um, involved in this. So we don't need to worry about SQL injection, which is why we can put the title uh, variable in the query. But for consistency, what we can do is just put a question mark there. Uh, and we'll just put another S here to say we want two strings. And we will put another comma here, and we'll put title in there. So that just makes things a bit more consistent. So let's um, upload this and just put in a link. So we'll say google.com. It says done, and we uh, click browse. And you can see it says google.com, and it says title, and we have our uh, random link generated and put in the field. So another thing we're going to do, uh, if we go back to our links here, you'll see that they have uh, no HTTP or HTTPS in front of them. So we're going to put that in um, if it's not already there. So the way we do that is we just come up here and we'll say insert HTTP. Um, we'll just actually insert HTTP because if HTTPS is already there, we won't need to insert anything. So we'll say insert HTTP. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if uh, post URL to shorten. And we actually need to put this in uh, round brackets. So we're going to say if you are uh, actually use. So we're going to use the sub str function. So we're going to say sub str, uh, and you'll see here uh, HTTP is four letters. Then it has a colon and two um, forward slashes. So that's seven characters in total. So what we're going to, what we're going to put in here is uh, zero or zero seven. So this means we want to get the first seven characters of uh, whatever the user puts in this text box. And we want to check it to see if uh, that equals uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And then if it doesn't, we're going to uh, prepend it to the string. So the way we check it is we say equals uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And then we'll say, actually we'll put a, a not equals in. We'll just put a comment here then, uh, prepend HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So the way we're going to do this, we're just going to use a variable called URL. And we'll set it equal to um http whoops http colon forward slash forward slash dot post uh whoops url to shorten and here we will just say copy this and say else url equals um our post variable and we're going to, instead of putting it in here, we're just going to pass it the URL variable. So if we run this now, we should have HTTP appended on or prepended onto the start of our string if we don't already provide it with one. So I'm just going to put in francismacnamie.com. And you can see that was changed to HTTP francismacnamie.com. If I put in HTTP uh, youtube.com, what we should get is exactly what I put in the uh, text box. So you can see now it says HTTP YouTube.com. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.